Yeah. Need a tie down. Are you willing to help me? Yeah. Jeff's favorite tie downs in the world. They just work so well. <laughs> a little bit of that. Oh, shit. I got sleepy guy today, dude. You gotta roll it up. See that? It's these fancy pieces of effing shit. We roll up, guys, and they do like, when you roll them up, it's kinda nice. That was actually probably the smoothest I've ever <laughs> yeah. used one of these. Like, it's usually a, like, it's a web of deceit. Depression, okay. Um, where are all those bits at, Jeff, from yesterday? So this is the, the last guy that had had this front end together. So they put this lock washer on here. There's a lock washer. See this, can you see that? That's not the right size lock washer. What's wrong with people? I don't know who these fucking rookies are, dude, <laughs> putting these bikes together, but. They've all done a horrible job, and then I'm left fixing all their effing mistakes. Not saying that I'm some great bike builder or anything, but like, there's some really easy things you can do to make these things a little tighter. Brake lights, tail lights, just the right size effing hardware. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. We're rocking this thing, dude. It's good to go. The ass is gone. Yeah, you did it all. No, I really, I did it all. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, it's done. It's already neutralized? You hosed it off? I don't think, I think it just evaporates. Oh. And if it didn't, I wanted to sit there and keep cooking. <clears throat> and if it burns me, I can regenerate my skin. It's okay. Supposedly bodies can regenerate their skin. Not fucking toes. <laughs> but they can't regenerate toes. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lizard. <laughs> So, I'm gonna forewarn you, I did not rinse or neutralize any of this. Oh, okay, cool. I think, so I think acid evaporates. Jeff doesn't believe me. If you would like to wear gloves while you remove this tape, sounds, or hold this with a rag. Sounds harder. We're gonna grease these bearings. I do have a, gre I do have a packing guy, but I like to get dirty. So. See this? Put a little grease in your hand. You want to remove the pubic hairs out of it. Who's been in here lubing their tackle? <laughs> that's here, the one that stays here at night. <laughs> you doing with the grease, dude? Look at that. You put a little hole in there and everything. <laughs> yeah. Round peg in a square hole? Uh, mine's actually a diamond. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes, yes. Anyways, enough freaking messing around. Hold it, slap it on there. And you'll see, this is kind of cool. They can see in the video, see the grease coming out? That side? And that right there, my friends, is how pack of bearings. I'm scared to touch this stuff now, dude. That all got kind of weird. But we learned stuff, it was uncomfortable. We packed our bearings. We call that a successful session. Sam, are you ready for us yet? Mm. Ever ready? Well, pre. Oh, you know what? We should also pre lube our races. Is that more grease the better? A little bit of lube there. A little bit of grease in there. That bad boy. And then, so, mm, yum yum. Oh, you know what? I need a dust guy now. Shit. It's always something, dude. Ugh. I'll be right back. Oh. All right. A little dust cover. Look at that, dude. Looks nice and old. Dude, this tape got kind of squirrely, huh? This one, right? That, that race doesn't, the only surfaces that matter is right here and right there. Being gentle with it. For the very first time in your life. <laughs> what, I'm being gentle? I don't know, dude. Okay. 
Okay, looks like you're giving old Sam a handy. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Well, don't let people know that I clean stuff off, Jeff. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. We are going to clean this a little bit. Just a little grimy. Bella. Look. Let's take it off. Let's get, get a little, little bit off. More skin off. And then... Nice, dude. Uh, muriatic acid. Um, we should really learn more about it. We should do some study because it eats the shit out of the tape. <laughs> okay. Um, Sam, Jeff, that Baron, you're so close. Thank you. This is the money shot, man. You see? The Vernon looks like it's gotten a little bit older, I think. It aged a bit. We could also do a little aging while it's on the bike. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Pan hair front end with a fucking springer, dude. So it gets all the little lady boys excited. Okay. Next is this fella. And then we'll have a good understanding. See, we're still gonna need a spacer up in here. So we'll need a spacer in between this once we get there. That'll also be like that. So I'm gonna need to machine all that, but we'll machine that when I'm machining wheel spacers. Um, bars, bars, those bars. I'll grab that. Fucking bars are too wide, dude. Just hit me in the head. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Remember how this bike wouldn't roll backwards when we first got it? Why was that? Yeah. Anyways, let me see. Hold on, hold on. It's kind of dry. See if the spacer fits? Sure don't. See this right here? So the problem is this spacer is too short. See that flap needs yeah. to be yeah. totally covered. And what we should do though, is just look at what this thing is lined up. We're just gonna throw this through and then we're gonna straighten this bitch out. Oh, so we don't have, we don't know where everything's at yet. Do we have, what are you looking for? I would usually laser sight, but for now, a, um, uh, some string, dude. Some string would be cool. Do a little, uh, make a loop. Dude. Fucking ain't Sam's first rodeo, dude. Okay. Back in the Navy. Back <laughs> in the Navy. So now, old Crooked Eye Lex. All right, I am lined up. That is not even close to correct, dude. But also, this is not even on. It still needs to come over more. All right. It is not perfect, but this is probably a juice drum conundrum, like this should have a mechanical break, but we're gonna do a juice drum. It's like, it is like the tiniest bit off and we're not gonna fight it because that's as far as Will wants to come over without it getting like really close to other stuff. So we're gonna leave that there. So that's good. Um, now, will this ever accept that? Do you want calipers? Uh, we should get some calipers, but I also believe and I have what we are looking for. That's a squirrely little dude, but that's probably gonna be our spacer. So how the dude had that wheel in a swing arm, cause that's a real, that's a, that's a mechanical brake spacer. 
that was the space. I do have, oh wow, man. Well, the only problem is, is they're not the right diameter, or is it? It is. Hmm. Let's clear it. Let's run this down and get this tire touching. So is the second this touches the group. Okay, go up just the tiniest bit. Sit right there. And, we... and now every time we take this out, the wheel is just there. Dude, what are the chances of that? That's insane. I bet you I pulled this out of a bike that had the same <laughs> setup in it. Um, but we do need to put a spacer on this guy. A little nut action there. Dude, that was a... Uh... Wildly simpler. We still got to do a hanger because this needs to be held right here. So we'll figure out how we want to do that in several ways. Um, so we might just connect the two there. Okay, so we got a back wheel. Let's do a front wheel. I was gonna. Everything's way more sexual on camera. It's hard, dude. <laughs> All these penis, like, look at this. Penis. Penis. <laughs> Everything's penises. There's no ladies around, so it's okay. It's okay, guys. There's no girls here. There you go, buddy. Oh, I gotta go up. Do some measurings. This wheel actually belongs to that bike. So now we're gonna have to get a wheel for it. But the cool thing is, is that wasn't like that was somebody else's bike. Like I technically own both of the bikes, so I can steal parts. But in the good old days, we would take parts right from the customers' bikes and put them on other customers' bikes. Cause uh, that's how it's done, dude. Okay, now let's line this motherfucker up, dude. Yeah, tits. You see that? That's how it's done. So that's what I think. I think that's really good. Now use professional tools and see what you come up with. Gonna have to do that, yeah. 27555. 27555? And... Dude, holy free whole lays, dude. It's 275. That's what we're gonna do. So, I'm gonna, we're gonna machine proper, cool dudes for this once we get the new lathe in. But for now, we're just gonna put some um, toss a couple on. Let's toss some, uh, might need to just cut some metal real quick. You do want to do a little deburring, even though it's not fully right. You could take that wheel out if you want there, buddy. I'm not gonna lie. What we're doing right now, some people would call, would, they'd call that finished. They wouldn't even be wrong. But I'd talk a bunch of shit when I was taking it apart. <laughs> Which is funny, because there's been times where I'm like, yeah, let's just leave it, it works. <laughs> Fucking hypocrites, dude. <laughs> wouldn't you realize why stuff, when you're taking it apart, like, why would someone ever do this? You know why? They probably didn't have a fucking choice. Had they had a choice to do, or they had an opportunity to do something better, they probably would have done it. Maybe it was a side of the road fix. You know? Yeah. Not everyone owns a lathe. I mean, hell, I hardly do. <laughs> so, hopefully, this axle will actually fit. Let me see. Because these. Yes. This has a seam weld down it, so it's got like a little lip. So they're not perfectly smooth, but it is small enough to fit. Oh, 
Oh. Great. Do you see it? Here. No. Be ready for it. How many men does it take to get a shaft through a hole? Two and a half. <laughs> Charlie Sheen's involved. Charlie Sheen's involved. Cool, dude. If only it was that simple. I mean, it could be that easy. But I'm probably gonna machine up some pretty cool little spacers. Dude, we need to do some fucking... Let's do some cutting. Wanna do some cutting? Cut them bars down? Dude, there's plenty of things. I'll cut the bars. I wanna cut these tabs off since we're running a... Little dude. Fucking Derek, dude. Hey, dude. Hey, we're filming, bro. I'm so fucking sorry. Are you sorry? I hell am. Dude, you don't have to be sorry. It's okay. What do you want? I just have a quick question. Make it fucking snappy. Okay, have you ever had anything powder-coated? Have I ever had anything powder-coated? How long have I been building bikes for, Derek? I, no, no, I literally never had anything powder coated. That's the, that's the funny part. That's what I meant. Like all these years, never had anything powder coated. I was just making you feel, no, I've, I've had tons of stuff powder coated. I'm kidding. Okay, so keep, keep your questions running. Let's go. So, I've never had anything powder coated. Oh, God. Hi. Sorry, sorry. So, oh, dude, we need to put this in the fab room, dude. That's not fat. Okay. That's fat. Okay. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk and walk, dude. Keep coming. I'm about to have my tank and fender powder coated. Okay. Do I need to rinse my fucking tank out? And if so, with what? Um. You're probably gonna want to like clean it all out after, cause they're gonna sandblast your shit, and then they're gonna powder coat it. Uh, they still might sandblast it because it creates texture and it makes the sandblasting adhere better. I see. This is, I'm not a powder coater, so, but yeah, uh, I would just worry about cleaning it after. So don't rinse it out if gas. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely rinse it out if it's filled with gas. It's going to go in a, it's going to be in a heated thing. You're going to hand them the bomb. Soapy water. Just do soapy water and blow it out. Okay, perfect. Cool. Is that good? Thank you. All right. You. Say bye to the people. <laughs> bye, Derek. Bye, people. Bye. Okay. Anyways. Let's take this shit off because I want to shrink these up like a bunch. These bars are too wide. Their, their welds look pretty shitty, so I might get lucky. Bro. So get close. There's my cut. There's where it removed itself. Nowhere near. <laughs> what that told me is I never had to cut anything. It's okay though. Okay, so now. See these cuts I made? I never touched the tubing. When you're making your cuts, you don't actually have to cut like super deep. You can cut enough metal down that it's thin enough it'll just break. And then that way I don't have to be all anal and try to re-weld all the cuts that I've done while damaging the bike. And had this been a original frame, I probably wouldn't be cutting these off. But since we know it's a V-twin, it's fine. Keepers, dude. We'll put those in our 
little keeper fits. Exactly. I'm gonna use the TIG on this one. Now a little flapper action. What? Yeah, let's just use the big. I don't need to TIG weld this shit. We don't have our 220 yet, so it just makes things tougher. fancy thing to cover that because that's like doesn't look cool we'll do like a piece of a fucking flap of leather or something you know and with the grinder uh, i want a wire wheel it's been a while since i've touched any of that stuff so we also want so actually, um, I just have this. We actually keep this plugged in in the main because these are only 15 amp. This thing doesn't have big enough wire. Another when you're welding. Don't use your like little tiny duders. Or the oh. you light? Yeah. You also want to clean the surface that you're welding. Not that this is a welding tutorial, but it fucking helps. So, plenty of raw dogging on there. So basically with my motor mount, since I cut those tabs off of it, those tabs, not that there was a ton of weld there, but they did create strength for this top motor mount. So, and this is open now, so we're just gonna weld that up. And I'm gonna do some little fucking cheater welds. Uh, this thing's really dirty. The little volcano. Just a little fella. I was looking for smoke. I got a, that got one little dingleberry on there we gotta get rid of. Dude, man, Sam is like the, dude, he's the fucking prepper gangster, dude. He knows how to keep the show moving forward. Fucking cut time. Um, get your cut off wheel. Here, I'll get. I'll prep. I'll prep for Sam. You like the, how much we move around, <laughs> Jeff? Is it fun? Yeah. Oh, I'm getting so much exercise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta mark him though. Yeah, I had a sharpie up for you. But I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> Here, sir. Okay. Yeah. So, it's not much. It's not gonna be a lot. 1.33333333333333. Three, 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 three. Not that it matters, <laughs> the distance. It's not the size, dude, that matters. It's how much you need to have removed. There we go. Yeah, and dude, you got it, so when you're, just go straight. Cuts like that. <laughs> Shit, dude. You need it off anyways because you need to make those cuts fucking smooth. 
Fucking flatten it, little fucking chamfer. Way better. Those are some fucking wide ass bars, man. That's not gonna be easy to split lanes on. Other than it is tall enough, you're probably gonna go right past people's mirrors. We need to fucking, we need to kind of clean the engine up before we throw it in there because it's hecka dirty. But, um, we'll kind of wipe that thing down and then we'll come back. Don't want a bunch of fucking greasies. You don't want to lose all the uh, fucking, you know, all the character. Yeah. There's character in there, dude. Yeah, wabi sabi. Wabi sabi. Okay, Sam, I'm gonna let you fucking put this thing in, brother. <laughs> you gonna let me? I'm gonna let you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, I am feeling so generous today. I'm gonna let you set that engine in that third motorcycle. This is like, this is the big deal stuff, dude. People kill them. So you almost wanna spin it. Once you get it close, you give it a little spinny poo. Yeah. So, so, uh, lift with your back, right? All back. No knee. Okay. There it is, right there. Alright. It's kind of heavy. You didn't look, you made it look light? What the frick is going on here? Uh, no, this is where they want that shim. But I'll tell you, oh, what we don't need right now is this guy. I'm like really hungry to lift it real quick. Here. I just want to know why they wanted to shim it. I mean, we're going to shim it again, but like, it still is kind of weird. Lift. Okay. Well, that brings it away from this too. Oh, it did. Okay. Cool. All right. I fucking stop arguing. Just still seemed kind of weird. Uh, you know Whenever you set an engine in, you want to then... Just wipe other shit down for no apparent reason because it just feels like the right thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll like do it every time. But cool, it's in. Sweet. <laughs> you know what would be nice is if we had a couple tabs right here. Oh, you want those tabs back? Yeah, maybe we just we put have them back some. on. We can. I have the perfect tabs. They'll fit. Fucking great. Uh, is that bolt in there? Is that? One bolt's in, let's do a second one in the back just to kind of hold it in place. It should be the longer of them. They're not even matching at all. So these Those are, are the fronts. Front. Just throw the two back ones in for now. Let's just mock it. It's going to need to go back to the fab shop. Did you get it? Yep. Dude, hell yeah, good job. We could have just left this bike like right where it was too. But <laughs> I like utilizing the shop. Alright Sam, let's go back to the fab shop. Hold on. What I wanted to see though is how low we can go, dude. We can trim those little guys off. Yeah. They're a little intense. We're gonna cut those off completely. I may or may not use the back ones on some little tabs. Might be kind of cool. So you don't have to have a tab up here, which is bitchin'. And then we can make tabs to go to there. Dude. There's our, oh, you know what we can do? Has anybody seen, I have like a fucking chain. So, for fun, little oh, shits and giggles. Put that on there. Sick, dude. Crazy ass seat. Yeah, we don't want to see a black fender, actually. 
Mm. Mm. No. Ugh. Too rusty. That's a good, that's like a real deal. Remember, this bike is a aftermarket. Aftermarket guy. Let's see what, how the brown seat looks, even though we put it away. I don't think it's gonna work, dude. It's like too much brown. What about the old Leopard? Um shit. Oh dude, 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 dude. This might be the seat. This one. Oh. Tie. Little balancing act. Man, I don't think um, it's the fender's not right, huh? I'm not a fan of the seat. Man, I hate to do this, but like, do I need to just put a fucking solo seat on there? Oh, shit. I, I don't think it's a seat. Look, look at it. Squint your eyes and look at it. It doesn't like the fender is too the fender is too dull and brown compared to all the other metal on the bike. All the other metal is a different finish. I'm totally seeing what Sam's seeing. Yeah, the chrome's kind of nicer. Well, I mean, Oops. we could just do a smooth chromey. Oh, it doesn't want to come out. There you go. Got it. It definitely looks better. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Will this work now? Let's just see if the toning is better. Yeah, it does. I think any one of the seats could go on it now. You know what? You're completely right. Any one of the seats could go on it now. And I mean, once there's a sissy bar, like, all that kind of stuff super changes the uh, overall vibe. Just as an example, just to like see what the change. Like see, once there's a sissy bar, a lot different. Go up a little bit more, right there. Back a little bit. Right there. But I'm gonna make a stainless sissy bar to match the stainless bars. So that'll kind of like chrome, chrome, black, stainless, you know what I mean? It'll help move those tones around a bit. Um, I do think we should look at that brown seat on this bike though. Okay. You're willing. Yeah. I'm not fully sold on this thing. The leopard also could be uh... The leopard could be a candidate. Let's try it. We're gonna bring that one down. Brown dog. Brown doggy. This has got some good crackle in it. That looks pretty good. Oh, you know what's happening here too? I didn't even realize this. The fucking wheel is super far back. That's real. Help me out, because I was kind of tripping on distance. Oh man, that thing is on there. Jesus. This thing never ends. It needs to be washed out. We've got some proper Proper hardware right here. Hey, look at that. It's right in there. Dude, my uh. What's going on here? My sight sucks, dude. That's good for now. That gives us a better uh, fucking view. 
fucking fumbly wumbly, dude. Pull this thing out and stare at it properly. Where do you want to go? Just back straight. I might be the bike. Did you bring down that leopard? No, no, no. I don't know. I mean, I don't think I hate it. I, do I dig not it. Hate, you hate it? No, I dig it. Damn, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. That's like, that thing is pretty fucking cool. Damn, it might be that. Switch out the gold, let's try the gold one more time. Oh, I know what you do. Let's see, I'm gonna get proper ph photography. I'm gonna put that shit on Instagram and see what people think. Kinda out, just put it back over there. Change the seat. There. Okay, shorten that fender up a little bit. Right there, it's fine. Okay, leopard. Shorten that fender up a little bit. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Right there. Cool. Yeah, I think it's that leopard. I think it's just like kind of like a classic black chrome, a little bit of leopard. I think that's pretty cool, dude.